Hey guys, welcome to another video. My name is Akosia Behene, if you're new. In today's video, I'm going to be showing you guys how I do my derma planing at home. So this is basically my face shaving routine, how I shave my face for a much more smoother skin. So um, if you're interested, keep on watching and give me a huge thumbs up. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't already done that. And let's get right into the video. that I do is to exfoliate I have found that exfoliating before doing your derma plane routine helps to protect your skin a lot more and it helps you to actually get a lot more dead skin cells off you know so it's very good to exfoliate first so I'm gonna go ahead and just put some of this on a cotton pad and clean my face and then yeah Now, the best tool for doing your at-home dermaplaning is not a professional dermaplaning tool. So you don't want to use the one that you get when you go to like a proper skincare lab or whatever, you know. When you go and get like a proper facial, what they use, you don't want to use that. You want to use the regular um, groomers that you get, face groomers, eyebrow groomers, you know that one. Um, the lighting is pretty off so you guys can't see it, but these ones are the best at-home type of blades that you can use for your derma planing um, it's advised not to use a professional one and especially if you have acne prone skin this is not a step that you want to be doing at all you your skin is different so first of all you should know your skin type before you even get into any of these kind of at home procedures you know because not everything works for everybody so um this is a three pack three pack blade that I got from Walmart you can pretty much get these from everywhere and I like this one because the blade is very good but it also comes with like a protecting thing around it you know so it's not gonna hurt your skin you guys will see how I do it I'll take you through step by step how I do it so that um, you don't hurt yourself in any way this process is supposed to help you take off peach fuzz one um, the dead, dead skin cells of the first layer of your skin so you don't want to cut your skin you don't want to be too deep you don't want to do anything that's too hard you will take it very gentle so you basically hold the blade at the tip so that way you're not applying so much pressure so you can't hold it here no you're not trying to shape anything you're basically trying to shave off something so you want to be very light-handed and your face your face skin is very soft so you don't want to do anything that is too much so that's why it's advised that you pull your skin away and then you do the shaving so at at every point you pull your skin away and then you shave and you want to do this step by step you don't want to be too fast with the process so if you're going to take this side of your face take your time and get through this side of your face and then if you're going to take this side of your face take your time and get through and then you can come to the up top of your lip you know so basically do it step by step you can start from your forehead anything that is comfortable you're comfortable with just make sure that you're doing it step by step and taking your time with the blade so let me show you guys how i do it Hopefully you guys can see that. It's just, it's just hair, but it's literally on the first layer of your skin. Yo. <laughs> oh my god, I need to take a photo of this. You can decide to work on your 5.5 or not that's totally up to you but i definitely like to take mine off because i like for my makeup to glide on smoothly around like that whole area there's so much hair like i'm so sorry i'm so sorry this was supposed to be a tutorial but like there's really so much hair on my face i like to do my neck i like to go in you know what let me grab a paper towel because i have a lot more hair on my face than i actually thought that i did but if you look clearly you see that this side of my face has cleared up a lot more 
you guys will see i mean you see the before and after anyways but just so you know this thing actually does get a lot of hair off your face just on one side of my face i haven't even finished the entire side of my face but this is what i have please pick up please pick up see oh that's definitely a lot of hair so um if you're still wondering why you should do this process that's why think what you think what you think So this is one side of my face and this is the other side of my face so you definitely see like you definitely see a difference like an immediate difference so um dermaplaning definitely works uh you, you don't want to ask so many questions yeah. so now this is a time you also want to work around your brows if you're if it's something that you can do or if you're comfortable with doing your own brows at home, this is something that you can do while you're doing your demo planning. It's just the perfect time to do it. So now I'm going to fast forward the whole, I mean, the rest of the process because I'm going to be basically doing the same thing all over my face. I just really wanted to break it down for you guys so that you see while I'm doing it. So I try to slow this side down and then now I'm going to fast forward the entire process and then we'll do the rest of the skincare. So... time now i honestly wasn't feeling my skin i've been feeling like my skin just wasn't giving me you know that inner glow because my skin is naturally very beautiful but it just wasn't doing it so i think this is what i needed i'm glad that i actually did this now um after this whole step you're gonna go in and cleanse again with your toner but usually what i like to do is cleanse my skin you cleanse before you cleanse before you do this entire process but i just like to wash my face again you know just because i feel like the i have like pieces of hair all over me I, I just feel very uncomfortable and i feel like just this week feel like just this week i'm sorry <laughs> i feel like just this will not take away whatever excess hair i have left so i feel I, I would love to wash my skin. I love to wash my skin after this entire process. So I'm going to go ahead and do that and come back. And then we'll do the rest of the skincare. Okay, so my skin definitely feels very clean. Um, I mean, it feels clean from all the peach fuzz and everything. But aside that, let me just say that I think this is... <laughs> I should have just done this because I felt like a few weeks ago, I was feeling like, what is wrong with my skin? The texture was just too much. So if you're a type of person that gets a lot of texture, <laughs> textured skin, and sometimes, you know, you feel like, mm, this is a little too much as compared to the texture that I'll usually get, then you should do dermaplaning. It helps a lot. I legit cannot see the texture that I used to have around here. But with that being said, my skin is drying out. So we're going to go ahead and tone again with same AHA that I used. This is the Cosrx one. I love this stuff because it hydrates at the same time doing the exfoliation bit. So I just put it on a cotton pad like so. And then I use that to exfoliate. Next, I'm going to go in with my serum. This is Hyaluronic Acid Serum from Skin Nutrition's. Um, daytime this is my daytime routine I like to do dermaplaning during the daytime oh my skin feels so smooth but yeah I love to do it during the daytime just cuz I love to do it during the daytime you know so I'm gonna use hyaluronic acid to moisturize my skin
and then next I'm gonna use a moisturizer this is my daytime moisturizer Garnier skin active moisture rescue this stuff is just a hydrating moisturizer I love it so much it's just like a water gel um, for my skin type this is the type of moisturizer that I like to use so that's that's what that's what it is <laughs> Don't forget to bring your skincare down to your neck. It's very important. Next, I'm going to use some eye cream. This is from Dr. Brandt. I'm going to leave all the products in the description box for anyone who's interested. I just went down the stairs. I'm tired. Let me catch my breath. And then the next thing that I'm going to use is an antioxidant oil or antioxidant oil, however you want to call it. I got this from a brand. This stuff is good. I'll link it in the description box below. I had never used any antioxidant oil till they sent me this one. It's not a heavy kind of oil, um, but it still gets the job done. You know, anything that has antioxidants protects your skin. So I just press it into my skin. And now the last step, because it's daytime, I'm going to put on my sunscreen. You don't want to forget sunscreen, especially after you've gone through this whole process of shaving your face, blah, blah, blah. You want to protect your skin because then you're not doing any good to your skin. You know what I mean? The sun doesn't do any good to the skin. It doesn't do any good to dark spots, hyperpigmentation, all of that stuff. If there are things that you're suffering with, that's too harsh. But if there are like problems that you have or skin concerns that you have, you want to always have your sunscreen on hand. Never go without sunscreen, okay? So the one that I'm using is from Neutrogena. This is not my favorite. Let me just be honest. And also with sunscreen, I learned that the two finger rule is what works. So you basically want to like do one straight line, and then another straight line, like so. This turns to be a lot sometimes, in all honesty. I'm not even gonna lie. It turns to be a lot sometimes. So I'm just gonna put some to the side, <laughs> you know. But that's the rule. That's the rule. That's the rule you have to go according to, so please. Okay, guys. So this is my after this is my skin after demo cleaning so i'm gonna go ahead and just put a before photo right by the side so that you guys see what i mean i definitely feel a lot more smoother my skin feels a lot more smoother it feels very soft soft and supple i'm not even gonna lie this is something that i'd advise that you do your research on know your skin type and if you're interested definitely go for it it's one of the best skincare processes that you can do at home that literally takes your skin from like zero or hungry to fed i'm not even going to lie like legit i feel very different about my skin i feel very different about putting on makeup right now you know so it's all about like your skin type knowing what works for you this works for me this is something that i do once a month because I don't grow as much hairs on my face. I don't have like, I'm not a hairy person like that. But if you're a hairy person, I'll say do it twice a month. Depending on how much you have, like how much hair you have, um, I'd say that do your research, know your skin type and do what is good for you. Yeah. So if you have any questions about it, definitely leave them in the comment section below. I will be sure to answer all of them. Um, if you're interested in any of the products that I use, like I said, I will link them in the description box below. So also definitely check the description box so you don't miss out on anything. Um, but yeah, this is it for my dermaplaning stroke, how I shave my face at home by myself, safely. 
safely so um plus a little skincare routine that goes with it so thank you guys so much for watching if you love the video give me a huge thumbs up comment give me all the love that you can share it to people as well it helps my videos grow it helps my channel grow so share it if you think that somebody needs to see this too um yeah thank you guys so much for watching i love you i'll see you guys in my next video Mwah. bye bye